Now, the first thing I'm going to try to use is something that's going to give us that motion we're getting out of the timeline. I'm going to take a look at movie clips here over in my reference panel. And let's take a look at event handlers for these. Now, we've used event handlers that resemble kind of button event handlers, like mouse down, mouse up, press, release, all those different kinds of things in here. But I'm going to use this one up here at the top, which is called on enter frame. Now, basically what this does is it simulates the movement of the playhead through a movie clip. Every movie clip loops, and the enter frame event is going to be invoked whenever it loops through a frame and enters the frame. So we're really getting playhead motion without the playhead. Now let's set up another element on our screen. I'm just going to move this out of the way. We've got a few things we can work with here. Down in our street scene, we've got a little lamp and we've got a car. And I think I was going to start with the lamp. Let's see how our layers are working. I'm going to add a layer above... I'm sorry, below the lamp. So we'll go click on houses. I'll insert a layer here. And I'm going to put in here the lights. And we've got a light object inside of our movie clip. Now let me just take a look at this. This is just a big circle. But this circle has a radial fill in the middle of it. And we've got a solid yellow in the middle of the fill. And we go out very quickly to a transparent white. So it's just kind of fading back on the screen, but it's actually kind of big. Let's insert one of those lights into our lamp. Bring my library back up in here again. We'll drag out a light, and I'll put it out here on the screen. Now you can see how that transparency is working for us. I'll just stick it over here in the lamp. Now I've set this layer behind the lamp, and we've got some transparency in the lamp as well, so we kind of have that nice glowing light effect on the lamp. What I'd like to do with our animation is turn the lights on and off. But instead of just flipping them on and off, where we change a visibility property or something like that, let's fade these lights on and off. We'll use some animation for it. Now I'll need to make sure I name the light, so I'll call that one MC Light 1. I think we can have three of these going here later. And now with an instance name on our movie clip, we can control the properties. Let's go to our Actions panel, and let's try out the On Enter frame. Now I'm going to go ahead and pin this script so we don't have to chase it around. I'll leave the buttons there because we'll come back to them. But right below the buttons, let's add a little script that's going to control the alpha of our light movie clip. Now we're going to set this up as an event handler function just like we've done others. MC light one, that's the name of our movie clip. We'll do dot and we'll create an event handler We're using our new event on enter frame. Now let's add the function syntax for that. Now we've got a standard function for a typical event on a movie clip. Since this is simulating my motion through the playhead, I can go ahead and change the property right here. We'll do MC light one. The property will be alpha, and it's starting at 100, and we want it to go down to zero. So I'll set it equal to MC light one underscore alpha, and we'll subtract, let's say, five from it. Now let's go ahead and test our movie and see what we're getting. There, I can see that light faded out very nicely and we've got a fade animation. Now notice we didn't have to do anything to the movie clip, no setting up of the frames. Our enter frame handler controlled that looping for us.